It's day five of the Nature Basket Sew Along. Today, we are completing the finishing touches for our beautiful Nature Basket playset. We'll transform the hood into a separate playscape and craft the sweet wee pillow and blanket for dolls. This is also a great day to play catch up if you are running a bit behind from other days. Let's finish this out. It's always so exciting to see a project nearing done especially one with as many beautiful details as these. After yesterday, your basket itself is already complete. Today, we are going to work on those little extras that open up infinite possibilities for play. Did you know that the hood of your nature basket can become the perfect little backdrop for all sorts of imaginative play? It's true. Your pattern includes a bonus hood base, which can be snapped to the bottom of the hood for separate use as a sweet little playscape. Now, your little one's forest, ocean, and flying friends can play out all the games your little one can dream up. Shall we start? Firstly, you'll want to make sure that your snap strip has been interfaced. If you didn't do it on day one with me, you'll want to start by marking the snap placements on it and fusing to your exterior snap strip piece. Then apply the snap sockets at these markings with the working side on the right side of the fabric. Next, lay your lining piece on top of this, right sides facing, and join all along the top curvy edge. Then, to ensure it lays nicely, you'll trim the seam and snip the seam allowance. Turn the snap strip right side out and use a dull pointed tool, like the handle of this paintbrush, to help turn it out nicely. Top stitch the curved side near the edge and then along the bottom raw edges, sew yourself a 3 8 inch guideline to base the two layers together. Using this stitch line as a guide, snip into your seam allowance so that we can match it up to the long curved edge of the hood base lining piece, much like we have at other points in the project. Sew this down to the base lining by stitching over that guideline. Then layer this snap strip and hood base lining piece, the exterior hood base piece, and your batting together. Note this is different than how we have layered other parts of the project because we will turn it inside out. Turn it over so that you can see your previous stitch line on the lining piece. Sew this sandwich together along this line, leaving a turning gap on the short curved side. Trim your batting, clip your corners, and snip your seam allowance, then turn it right side out. Tuck your turning gap in nicely and top stitch the front edge to close the gap. The hood base is now complete. These snaps will correspond with ones in your hood lining that when attached will allow the hood to stand open freely, ready for adventures. The blanket and pillow are quite simple compared to the rest of your project. If you want either piece to be embroidered, you will want to do so before constructing. For the blanket, you will layer the two fabric pieces right side facing with a batting layer on top. Sew around the outside edge, leaving a turning gap along the straight top side. Trim your batting away from the seams to take away a bit of bulk and snip into your seam allowance all around. Turn out, press, and hand stitch closed. is just as easy to assemble. Simply put the fabric together, right sides facing, sew around the edge, snip the seams, and turn out and stuff. Then close off with a ladder stitch or whip stitch.
you now have your very own complete nature basket playset, ready for the imaginative little minds in your life. They are great as gifts and more. Of course, the possibilities don't stop there. Who would you make a nature basket for? Or how would you use it yourself? I'd love to hear all of your ideas in the comments. It's been such a pleasure hosting this here this week. I do hope that you have enjoyed crafting your own little nature basket. Even if you haven't been able to sew along, it's been a pleasure having you. I hope you have learned some skills which will help you in other projects, perhaps even a nature basket in the future. Come back tomorrow and share your finished basket. I'd love to see them. Mm -hmm.